when we started developing the system, the platform, it was extremely difficult to explain to anybody why this was useful. Everyone got it. When we said, yes, we want to make drones accessible to people, they understood what it was, but people are used to hobby drones. You're going to fly something, take pictures, and that's the end of that. So we had to be able to put it into a context of an industry that people got, they understood it. Food is the obvious one. The minute you say that that pizza that takes you about 45 minutes or the falafel that takes you about you know 30 minutes uh, to arrive at your doorstep can now be there in 10, people immediately see the value in that. So we're a startup of 16 people now, and uh, we're based in Helsinki in Finland. And we also have a very small team in Bangalore in India. And when I started the company about two years ago, we had this big vision, ambition, to create autonomous vehicles or drones in short, and to create them in a way that each of them are working independently or together as a swarm. We are looking at how we could create a platform, a proprietary software platform, where the tech is um, developed by us, the algorithms are developed by us, or AI, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, this, this system on a, on a chip can be put into any drone, any hardware. And what we're developing is a brain. So it's the cortex, it's the brain of that drone that you put into it on a chipset, for example, and then suddenly it becomes autonomous. It knows how to fly by itself, it knows how to avoid obstacles, it understands where it's supposed to land, um, it understands how to, to uh, communicate with you. Because we want to democratize the usage of drones to anybody, anywhere. People don't have to be trained pilots anymore. We're based at Alta University in Agrid. Um, it's a startup space, and uh, they want to be able to promote innovation in uh, technologies in multiple areas. So they have this um, shopping district called A Block. And in the shopping district, you have a host of different restaurants and shops and gyms and so on and so forth. So we've created this A-Block app, basically, in conjunction with them and all of our various partners that are featured on there. So you order on this app and uh, you basically mandate what you want. So you choose from the selection of things that are available over there. Now, we have certain drone landing spots all over the campus, which are very close to various buildings. And there's a fleet manager in the middle of all of this. So somebody from our team is constantly monitoring what's going on because connectivity, data link, uh, a satellite starts misbehaving. I mean, stuff happens and there needs to be somebody who takes over at any given point in time. What's unique about us is we have made sure that this machine is absolutely safe when it is airborne and this machine is fully trained in order to do what it's supposed to do. So when I say it's fully trained, what that means is if I were to bring one of my pilots and have him intentionally fly the drone straight into me, you will see that the AI on board takes control from the pilot, maneuvers around me, and then hands the control back to him. And the AI and the pilot can keep playing this game over and over again, but the drone is never going to bump into anything. So this is Coalition Avoidance 101, and we have that functional on our drone. So this is what we call uh, the Phoenix, that's what we named our delivery drone. Uh, underneath the drone is where uh, the payload goes and hooks up to the drone. On, the, on this side, you can see uh, the ground control station. So this is basically where all the magic happens. We upload the missions uh, through uh, the ground control station, which is then transmitted onto the drone and then we execute the mission. So right now it's, uh, it's in the process of being completely automated and hopefully uh, within a span of maybe a few weeks of time we have fully autonomous missions that are completely running. We've done 22 deliveries. It's been to Chinese delegations, to uh, European commissioners who've been on campus. And I'm either extremely stupid or very, very confident in my technology that we had a bunch of about 20 people from the commission over here and we did a delivery to them. Then we had a Chinese delegation in the middle of Helsinki. So this wasn't in Otanyami, it was actually in the middle of Helsinki. And we did a, we did a delivery to them. Um, so we've done a couple of flights in Helsinki as, as well. Um, but otherwise, it's just mainly been up and down to people who've lived outside of the, outside of the campus who wanted tomatoes delivered to them or eggs.
the reality is that we have issues, we have constraints as human beings. And when those barriers are being addressed by logistic systems, delivery systems, convenience, be it in deliveries, in the way we cook, in what we buy, in the way we pay, all of those factors just make our lives a lot more seamless. It's just user experience at the end of the day.